Hi, this is Gully Gopar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about appendicitis and uh, how it can be treated uh, and prevented with diet and lifestyle changes. Appendicitis is an inflammation of the appendix. The appendix is a hollow organ located in the lower uh, right quadrant um, of your belly and it contains both um, aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. And there is still a debate regarding the purpose of the appendix, which uh, with some people saying that it has uh, immunoprotective functions, acting as a lymphoid organ, and others saying that it acts as a storage vessel for healthy gut bacteria. Whatever its purpose, it is crucial to make sure it stays healthy. Inflammation of the appendix can either be acute or chronic. If left untreated, it can cause terrible abdominal pain. In acute appendicitis, the appendix may burst, leaving the bacteria in it to spill into the abdominal cavity, which can cause severe problems and pain and may, in severe cases, uh, may even cause death. In chronic appendicitis, the appendix lumen gets obstructed and bacteria build up and cause acute inflammation, ushering in the piercing of the appendix. And this leads to abscess formation and bacterial, re bacterial release from the appendix. Appendicitis is um, a prevalent health problem. About 300,000 hospital visits yearly in the United States are appendicitis related issues. The incidence is about 233 people uh, per 100,000 with a slightly higher predisposition for men than for women. The data for the United States tells us that it is the most common cause of abdominal pain. Around 8.5% of males and 6.5% of female women in America will have appendicitis at some point in their life. Appendicitis usually results in surgery when left untreated. The main problem with appendicitis is that you rarely notice that you have it. The symptoms are seldom noticeable and most people find out when it's too late and then a surgery becomes inevitable. That's why you need to try to do whatever you can to prevent append appendicitis from happening in the first place. So how do we do that? Well, with specific changes in your lifestyle, you can effectively lower your risk of developing this disease. The best way of preventing appendicitis to date is consuming a fiber-rich diet. A lot of research has been conducted on the relation between high fiber intake and appendicitis. Most of it has shown that a fiber-rich diet can significantly lower your risk for appendicitis. People who eat more fiber rarely develop appendicitis compared with those who eat less of it. In general, it's recommended for adult males to eat about 38 grams of fiber per day and 30 grams of fiber uh, for older men. As for women, in general, uh, the recommendations are 25 grams per day and 21 grams as the woman ages. A diet is considered fiber rich and good for appendicitis prevention when you eat these foods regularly. First of all, vegetables and fruits um, with their peel if possible, such as apples, cucumbers, pears, potatoes, lentils, basically all legumes, all pulses, um, beans, peas, sprouts as well. Oats um, are excellent, whole wheat grains, rice, um, uh, wheat if you don't have um, an allergy to it. Basically all whole grains are excellent fiber rich foods. Fenugreek seeds, um, this herb has long been thought to provide several health benefits and it is found to be useful for appendicitis prevention due to linoleic and linolenic acids um, found in, this, in these seeds. Fenugreek has significant anti-inflammatory and anti-arthritic activities and they prevent mucus forming around the appendix avoiding the inf um, allowing to avoid the infection. Only about 11 grams of fenugreek seeds contain 3 grams of fiber, making it a very high fiber food. Um, you can boil the seeds in a liter of water, a few tablespoons um, for half an hour, and then uh, you can drink it, uh, or you can just buy fenugreek tea if you can find it. Also flax seeds are a rich source of dietary fiber and omega-3 fatty acids, including um, alpha linoleic acid having similar effects on the appendix as um, fenugreek seeds. 
Some minor changes to lead you to follow a more fiber-rich diet include cooking and baking with 100% whole wheat flour instead of regular flour. Add legumes or sprouts to your salad. Um, for dessert, opt for unsweetened tapioca cooked with soy milk or a piece of dark chocolate with over 90% cocoa um, um, after eating. Um, when you're eating soups, you can always sprinkle some wheat germ or oat bran over them. These will all increase, increase your fiber intake. Um, you can also add uh, to your oats um, chia seeds or flax seeds or fenugreek seeds um, to increase the fiber intake. So to conclude, having a healthier diet with lots of fiber-rich foods and low um, um, amounts of uh, refined and processed foods will make you likely never develop appendicitis. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, please. And please um, subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. Also visit my website, thegorillediet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.